If you watched my other video on the Barn Fine Adler 267 industrial sewing machine, I finally had the time to clean up the machine. It took quite a bit of time. I took a lot of the parts off, the upper tension assembly, the pressure foot tension adjustment, the stitch length handle, and a bunch of other parts. I took the top off and cleaned everything inside. Let me show you the back of the machine and then the main thing I'm going to show you today is going to be the bottom of the machine. Um, the gears in the bottom that run the hook. I'll show you how to take that apart and clean that out and put it back together. It's really simple so stick around and watch. As you can see on the back of the Adler the badge is right down here in the corner. My phone's going off. That'll tell you the model number and serial number. This is the knee lift mechanism. Uh, obviously this lifts your pressure foot. And this adjustment here, um, you want this set right in the middle of this slot here when you set your walking feet. And then once these are working correctly, if you want them to go a little bit higher or a little bit lower, you can just move this up and down to just make a kind of a micro adjustment. All right, let's get to the bottom of the machine. Here you'll see on the bottom of the machine, there's a cover that is that should be full of grease. Um, there's three screws, one here, one here, and one back behind that you're not going to see. So don't get aggressive with this. Make sure you get back here and get that screw out. And then there's also a plug that goes in this side. All right, you want to take those covers off. You'll see the gears in here. I've already cleaned them up. Uh, get them nice and clean. I'm going to be putting a tri-flow synthetic grease on there. And also, if I was selling this machine, I would put these covers back on and fill this whole, this whole uh, cover full of grease but since I plan on keeping this I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease on here enough to be sufficient and put the covers back on that way when I clean it in the future I don't have a bunch of grease in here because when I took this off the only grease that was dirty was the grease that was up against the gears all the grease towards the back was still clean Since we're looking at the gears, I thought I'd reposition the camera and just show one more thing quickly. Uh, just to try to explain as much as I can here. This metal block here, which holds the gear and the hook assembly, it's got slots cut in it and it's machined on the casting. And if your needle, excuse me, if your hook is too far away from your needle, you can actually loosen these. And let's say if it's hitting the needle, you can slide this block back a little bit. Or if it's too far away from the needle when it comes around, you can slide it to the left. Obviously, if you do that, um, you will have to loosen two screws on this gear. And you don't want to force it against there, but just make sure it's um, catching this other gear here that spins the hook around. And what else? Sometimes these have an indicator mark on them that you have to match on this gear and the gear back here. Uh, look for that. Uh, one of the other Adlers I worked on had that. This one doesn't. It does have a reference mark here on the side and on the bottom of this plate. I got to do a little research. I haven't found out yet what that's all about. But I'll put it in... Uh, the information below the video if I do find out what's going on with that okay I think that's it for this video I try to keep them fairly short and quick here um, if you want to see more about this machine I did order a swing down edge guide for it a servo motor I'm building a knee lift for it it didn't come with one and yeah if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and uh, lets YouTube know I'm a good guy and um, yeah, it helps out with my bringing more people to the channel. So thanks for watching.